Welcome to GiantHogWeed.com. My name is Graham Rudd, I'm business manager of Invasive Weeds Agency, and as you can see, it's Giant Hogweed. We're here in March and it's snowing, so there's very little giant hogweed growth visible at this time of year. There are a few small leaves on the ground, but mostly the giant hogweed infestations across the country will be identifiable by the stems that were there growing last year that have since died off. Giant hogweed in springtime has very vivid green leaves that tend to be much larger than surrounding species. The leaves are jagged on the edges and the stems are green with purple speckles and very fine hairs on them. The fine hairs contain phototoxic sap that if it comes in contact with human skin will react with UV light and cause severe blisters and burns. This is obviously a major concern when giant hogweed is growing in areas where members of the public may accidentally come in contact with this plant. Further info can be found at gianthogweed.com, facebook.com forward slash gianthogweed, twitter.com forward slash gianthogweeduk and youtube.com forward slash gianthogweeduk.